are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, we need to talk about the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade shooting. Because now this thing has definitely gotten um, political. As of right now, we still have not gotten the mud shots or names of the, um, the criminals, the murderers. They have not showed their faces. We don't have their names. They actually charged with um with um, like um gun crimes or something like that. Not murder yet. But I do think that's coming. But we have not seen the mud shot. What do you have to hide? I called it out in my last video about this, guys. We know that the suspects arrested were black. I mean, we even got one of the pictures that's pretty clear. Uh, one of the guys that was actually tackled, he's black. These are black criminals. They are thugs. No other way to put it, man. They're thugs. And actually, they're just murderers, okay? That is fats right there. But apparently, guys, fats will make you be called racist now. Yeah, I'm not making this up, man. Not making this up. Now, the mayor of Kansas City... His name is uh, Quentin Lucas. And this man seems to be coming to the defense of these murderers, these thugs, because that's what they are. Why is it, man, the Democrats, man, they love criminals, man. They love them. Why do you think that um, George Floyd got elevated to God status? Because this is the kind of black person they want you to actually look up to. You know, not law abiding citizens. Oh, no. They don't want you to be a law abiding citizen. They want you to be a criminal and a thug. And then when you die, they can actually elevate you, which is ridiculous. Now, Quentin Lucas, man, he's a black man himself. He should be ashamed of himself, man. I mean, why is he actually attacking the governor for calling a spade a spade? The governor called them thugs. And then Quentin Lucas got triggered and called it a dog whistle. So let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Kansas City mayor accuses governor of racism. For calling Super Bowl mass shooters thugs. And you know what? Call them thugs, man. That seems to be kind of light right there. They're murderers. Okay. A woman got killed by one of these guys. Don't know which one actually did it at all. But they are murderers. They're thugs. And the police are actually looking for more people also as well. I'm thinking this is probably a game related or something. Okay. But let's go ahead and read this. And we got the audio clip here as well. It says here, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas said on Friday that Missouri Governor Mike Parson used a, a racial dog whistle when the governor said thugs were responsible for the shooting. You see, guys, Democrats love criminals. You're not allowed to actually call these uh, criminals thugs. A woman got killed. And he's talking about a racial dog whistle. So Quentin Lucas must know something that we don't know that these suspects are black. And I think we all know they're black because we saw uh, three guys getting arrested. And one of them were like was let go. He made the comments while speaking to KCUR host Steve uh, Kraske on the radio program up to date. So. Let's go ahead, guys, and listen in to this uh, this clip right here. And you're going to hear from uh, Walt Mayor Quentin Lucas. Let's play it. He's going to join us later on in this program. After the shooting, he said we can't let some thugs and criminals just take over and ruin what happened. I gather that's not quite your assessment of what happened that day. 
I have respect for the governor. Uh, we get along well. I, I disagree strongly with uh, how he would describe that situation. I, I certainly do think this was criminal activity. It was lawlessness, and I think that uh, that's troubling. But thugs is a dog whistle in the most classic sense. And I have seen this dog whistle time and again. There's this kind of giant conservative theory on social media now that the reason that monk shots haven't been shown is because the purported defendants are black. And if it were a white defendant, we would have just shown them. That is absolutely preposterous. There are protections to juveniles. Our city has a gun violence problem. Nah, I'm not buying it. We all know that you guys are hiding this because they're black. We know that. We've seen this time and time again because these suspects don't fit the narrative. I don't care if they're juveniles or not. A woman is dead because of these criminals right here. A woman is dead because of these thugs. People just want to go and celebrate the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. The Chiefs won back to back Super Bowls. First time in 20 years. That was the longest drought, I believe, of back to back champs in NFL history. And then you got criminal thugs going out there, said, all right, let's just shoot each other. In the meantime, you had what? 22 people get injured. Nine children got shot. But apparently to this woke mayor, you cannot call these um, these uh, guys that got arrested. Thugs. He's triggered by the terminology. Typical Democrat right there, man. Typical Democrat. And they should be charged as adults, man. If you actually go out there and murder someone, I don't care your age, you should be charged as an adult. These scumbags should never, ever, ever see the light of day. Never. I mean, th th this is a picture right here, man. This is this uh, woke mayor right there. OK, what does this actually say? I don't even know what this is. Uh, this morning in Kansas City, Mayor Quentin Lucas announced plans to defund. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So this guy is a defund the police type of mayor. Oh, man, this goes back to May of 2020. Actually, May of uh, 2021. He announced plans to defund the police by forty seven million dollars. Wow. Astonishing. The Kansas City eventually ended up um, defunding their police. If you guys let me uh, know that, let me know that in the comment section, because I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they probably did. This guy is a woke Democrat right here that is triggered when you actually call thuds thuds, man. Unbelievable. Astonishing, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.